Smashing Pumpkins, Perfect, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. So just a standard tuning here, E, A, D, G, B, E, and uh, pretty basic chords. Um, we'll start with this intro, and this is essentially like the, the chorus as well. Um, there's kind of a, a second guitar over the top of the chords, and it's doing just this sliding octave. And it's an E to an F sharp octave, so uh, we start it here at the 7A with a 9 on the G. Slide that up to the 9 and 11. And essentially we just repeat that like four times. Something like that. And as I said, that's happening over the top of the chords. So the other guitar is just bouncing between two chords, uh, a D, and you can just take it to like the B string with it, or if you want to do a full D chord, it's up to you, whatever you think sounds better. So we'll have the open D, the 2G, and the 3B, 2 on the high E if you like. I kind of like to just keep the, the D5 there, but... And it's... Here we can just kind of interpret... Uh, I kind of like to just kind of strum along like a shuffle with the drums here. There technically isn't any actual guitar chords, like getting like right up front strumming. Um, there might be something like the distant background happening, but like I just kind of like to do a shuffling strum here. Just kind of following the shuffle of the drums. That type of deal. And then it just bounces to a B minor. So 2A with the 4, D and G, 3 on the B. And it's that same type of feel. Right. And like I said, that's just going between those two chords, uh, you know, a couple times in the intro there. And those chords carry into the verse as well. We'll go between the D to the B minor at the start of the verse too. And we go through them a couple times there. All right, and after we go through that a couple times, then we'll drop to this A. So just make a basic A chord here. Open A with the two, D and G. You can go to the two on the B if you want. And then to E minor. So open E, 2A, 2D, open G. If you want to do the full E minor, you can throw in the open B and G, or the open B and high E too, if you like. Right. And the next section, uh, I would call this the pre-chorus. Uh, we throw in this cool uh, G suspended second. And I like to do this voicing here, just kind of keeping it all down here, open style. So do the... Uh, three on the low E and I just kind of skip the A just to make it easy to to grab um, If you really want you could get like the two on the A like this, but we we really want this uh, two on the G to give it that suspended second and we'll have an open D so like You really want to get that that note in there that A note so you can do it like this, and I think it's cool because you just kind of got like the, the G5 with the sus2 note there. All right, so then, you know, we'll do the, the G sus2. You can shuffle strum it too, or just do like one big strum and let it ring. It's up to you. And then just come off to the E minor, and you can do like a big full E minor here. Sounds nice. All right, then we go back to that G suspended second and just kind of carry that out for another couple measures. Then it kind of starts over to the G sus2 to the E minor. And then uh, back to the uh, G sus2. And then, you know, I guess you would say this is the chorus now where, you know, he's just saying perfect in the song. And that's just our original D chord to B minor. And, you know, you can throw in that riff to the 7 and 9 up to the 9 11. All right. And the only other part that kind of stands out is uh, there's a little interlude section there. And it's kind of just hits that the D chord. And then it follows a bit of that vocal line, which you can do here. It's kind of like that, that typical like sus4 D thing that you see a lot where you... Uh, you'll hit the the three on the high E to two to open high E, 
and then hit the three on the B. Okay, just kind of trying to mimic that vocal that happens. Mm -hmm. 